Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Adrian and I will show you how I made this 2D painting to become into this 3D painting. Now it should be exported. Let's see how it looks like. No. <laughs> and yes, I was that shocked when I saw my my painting alive. You know, like like the the parallax effect and everything. It was so beautiful. I've never seen anything like that made by myself. So I'm proud. I'm proud of getting here, and I want to show you how I made it, so you can do it too. I'm a total beginner on this i am no professional i don't know how i got to a point where i didn't even know what i was doing so you don't have anything to worry about this if i did it you can do it too and that's why i'm here i'm here to help you bring your paintings alive have i tried this before no am i a 2d animator no i have no idea of what i'm doing right now make sure you try this at home guys it's completely safe you have nothing to lose and you're going to love it. So this is what my sketch looks like inside of Photoshop. And I thought it would be a way better idea to also make a video about this rather than just answering to every single one of you guys who have been asking me what kind of technique is this? What software have I used? How do you do this? Well, here's the video. Here's how I did it. I'm in the 3D working space, which you can access from the upper right corner. A quick disclaimer. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm just showing you the general idea of this process. However, if requested, I look into making an in-depth video about this technique. So, as you can see on the right side, I have a, three basic layers which happen to be just flat planes with textures. If you guys have ever tried any 3D software before, you would feel tempted to move around holding alt control scroll wheel right whatever uh, but i could not make it work here so you just have to switch between the different camera movement options which is situated up there and there is orbiting panning rotation and even a field of view option you can save up to as many cameras as you want and in my case i have one for the breakdown view and one for the main shot. You can bring in a timeline and set two keyframes for the camera to follow. I thought I would get rid of those silly edges in the exported video, but it wasn't the case. So I had to bring it to After Effects. I was so afraid of using this software because I found it too complex for me. But I think you get used to this combination of layers in 3D space and animating cameras due to practicing with 3D software and video editing programs. However, what I had was a very basic shot and uh, as a result, I was looking for some effects to enhance visuals here. I'm looking for camera blur, you know, between this layer, that layer, and so on. And I'd like to animate that. So it, there's a transition between, you know, at the same time the camera is moving, I want that blur to change and switch from foreground to background. Basically what I'm doing right now is just to move around some layers. I have perspective view on this screen, on this monitor, and here we have like a left side view and a front side view. Here are all my layers. It was actually a little bit painful to rearrange them because when you import your Photoshop file into After Effects, it doesn't read in the correct order so you have to rearrange them and once you've done that into the 3d space it will affect directly to your front camera which is right here and therefore you have to readjust the size that these layers have on screen so they can match your camera perspective and don't look like uh, out framed or whatever after animating cameras and layers, trying different combinations for hours, I was really happy about the result, but then I suddenly imagined this as part of a loading screen on a video game and just wanted to make a quick experiment. So it was time to bring more instruments to the room and unleash my creativity once again. So I want to turn it into a small intro video or something, and I wonder what can I say about it wound to this. 
I think it's good like that. Oh, shoot. Sorry, sorry. Why so slow? Never mind. Well, I finally managed to write a line. I'm not really sure about it. I don't know if it was, if it's gonna work or not, but. And what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to click, by the way, you may have noticed I have two red spots on my face. It's nothing weird, it's just two pimples that went really, really wrong. Not even pimples, how do you call these black dots, black heads? I don't know, I hurt myself a little bit. But listen, we are going to use Adobe Audition now and I'm going to click on record and grab this bad guy right here but a new challenge awaited ahead the death valley sick no not really let's try again tired and wounded they managed to escape let me try again all right tired and wounded i'm not sure if this is the right text i don't know what do you guys think about this text but i don't think it's intriguing at all storm of ash or ash storm hm, not sure so i'm not worried anymore so it's definitely ash storm i'm no english professional here but it kind of makes sense to me so i'm gonna leave it like that once the ash storm was over they finally witnessed the horn. However, the journey to last hole was still a long way to go, and they were about to enter a very dangerous area. Well, so that was it, guys. I'm so thankful for all of this. Uh, thanks for your support. Thank you for everything. I truly encourage you to try this because it's so, it looks simple, and it actually is. It's just a matter of doing a 2D sketch, making sure you have it on layers, then export that and bring it into After Effects. Make them move, convert them into 3D layers, and that's it. And then if you want to add more depth, you can record your own voice, put it on top of it, put some music in there, and, and there you go. You have like a... I don't know, like a loading screen, or if you do several of these, you can then mash them up together and you can have like a whole story, like a, a little animated movie made by yourself. So make sure to upload it and tag me on it, okay? Follow me on my social media, whatever it is. Uh, uh, I was gonna say Photoshop. Maybe one day, you know, who knows? I would really like to know what have you guys done with this? I'm pretty much everywhere. I should be more active on, on ArtStation as well. I should upload my stuff there. I actually have an entire folder of, of work ready to upload. I hope to see you there. And oh, and by the way, I'm joining the ArtStation challenge about the Wild West. That's the theme for this year and I truly like it. It's gonna be hosted by Pablo Carpio. I met him in Zagreb, Croatia at IFCC and he's a great guy. There's tons of stuff I can learn from him and you guys can learn from him too. And he's gonna be hosting this challenge and I'm looking forward to it because I chose the keyframe challenge. You basically have to create four full resolution images and you have to obviously stay close to the theme itself, which is Wild West. You can mix it up with any genre you want, but it can be distracting from the main theme. So thank you for watching, guys. I'm really thankful. I truly appreciate your support. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button as well, and share the video with your friends or whoever you think might be interested in this. And as always, stay productive, stay creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.